So this question is um, asking you to expand and simplify uh, the expression. Um, it's got two parts to it. So if we do the first um, bracket, um, we've got to remember that when we've got a number or a letter outside the bracket, it's telling you to times each term inside the bracket. So for this first bracket here, we're doing 5 times x, which is 5x. Then we're doing 5 times 7, which is 35. We're plussing because there was a plus inside the bracket there. The second bracket is telling us to do positive 3 times each of the terms inside. So we've got 3 times x positive, so plus 3x. And then we've got positive 3 times negative 2. So we have to be really careful here with timesing. Positive 3 by a negative, which will make a negative answer. So it'll be negative 6, 3 times 2 being 6. The question said simplify. So again, we've got to be really careful that we finish off, looking to see if there's any like terms that can come together. So we've got 5x plus 3x, which is 8x, so those two like terms. And then we've got 35 take away 6, so 35 take away 6 is 29, but uh, plus 29. Got to be careful here, it's plus 35 take away 6, which is 35 take away 6, 29. There's no negative here because you only change signs if the plus or minus are physically next to each other. So none of that is happening here. So it's positive 29 plus 29. So the answer 8x plus 29. This next part uh, asks us to factorise completely. So factorise starts with this word factor. So we're looking for the highest common factor. Factorise also means put an expression into brackets with the highest common factor outside the bracket. And basically what's left when you've divided through inside the bracket. So let's have a look at the terms and see what's the highest common factor. So we've got 3 and 6, so 3 will go into 3 and 3 will go into 6. So 3 will be the highest common factor of the numbers. Uh, but then we've got to be careful because we've got to look at the letters and see if there's any common factors here. Well there's an a squared and an a. Well both of those will divide by a, so a will be a factor. And then there's a b and a b squared and both of those will divide by b. So there's a b factor as well. So we need to find out what's left to go inside the bracket. So one way to do this is to take the terms in the original expression and divide each of them by what we think is the highest common factor. And then what we get from that answer goes inside the bracket. So we've got 3 divided by 3, which is 1, so they've uh, cancelled. We've got a squared divided by a. Well, that means we're going to leave ourselves with an a. And then we've got b divided by b, which means it cancels to 1. So we've got a times 1, which is just a. 6 divided by 3, we've well, got a plus sign of course. 6 divided by 3 is 2. a divided by a is 1, so that cancels. And we've got b squared divided by b, which would leave us with a b. Uh, if you're not sure why, then remember that b squared means b times b. If I'm dividing by a b, then that b cancels with that b to become 1. And b times 1 is b. So that's why I was left with a b here. So we'd be putting a plus 2b. So our answer would be 3ab brackets a plus 2b. We check of course, uh, we multiply out to make sure that it did give us our original expression. So we've got 3ab times a, well the 3 is there, a times a is a squared and the b is there. 3 times 2 is 6, a times b is ab but we've got a b as well so b times b is b squared. So that works.